Hey guys, it's John from physicalliving.com and in this video I'm going to be teaching you a bunch of different vibration training drills that you can use for rapid recovery and performance enhancement. I've been using this stuff for about a decade now and plan to continue for the foreseeable future, probably the rest of my life. Um, and I posted a video on it several years ago that I've felt for a while it really needs an update. I only shared a few of the techniques and there, there's others. Um, I've developed some of my own uh, techniques over the years when I'm, you know, just in between a heavy set of something and I'm shaking it up and I think, wow, that's kind of a, an interesting way to do it. Hey, that actually really works. Um, so I've experimented with it over the years and uh, have developed some of my own drills that I'm going to share today. So in the video, I'm going to share basically my exhaustive library of um, vibration training drills. Just for some context, this is something you do whenever you've got a moment to recover. So in between a hard set of squats or kettlebell swings or whatever conditioning you do, uh, when you have a moment uh, while you're playing your sport or uh, while you're doing your job, uh, or it can be something that you do as part of a cool down or a wind down routine at the end of your workout, the end of your day, when you've got a few minutes um, to shake, shake things out um, and recover. Um, so without getting into the geek stuff, um, just real quick, what this does is it, it's basically a rapid recovery and performance enhancement technique. It's really low tech, easy, anybody can use it, um, and it's free, you know. So it's highly recommended if you're a human being that you start doing this. And if you uh, follow along with the video, you do the drills, you will notice um, instant results, instant benefits. And if you practice um, for long enough, it'll become a skill, you know, it is a skill. Um, and you'll get better and better, and eventually um, you'll get uh, more effective results, more uh, cumulative results, and eventually, once you've mastered it, if you spend a, a number of years doing this as I have, it'll become an unconscious uh, behavior, just an automatic um, habit that whenever you've got you know, even a fraction of a second, you're going to find yourself shaking it out uh, to get that little boost of recovery. And you know, even you know, whether you've got a fraction of a second, 10 seconds, a minute, five minutes, um, it, it's just going to become an automatic behavior. You're going to find yourself shaking it out and realizing, wow, that actually that actually helps. You know, just that little that little shake or shaking it out for 10 seconds. Um, so what it does in a nutshell, um, the main things are you're you're shaking out to relieve tension, to to uh, get rid of fatigue, to increase blood flow and nutrition and lubrication to the tissues and your joints. Um, it could be used to help uh, lower your heart rate. And you know, if you've got 30 seconds to a minute to shake things out, I'm talking dramatic reductions in your, your heart rate, 20, 40, 60 beats a minute. Um, if you practice this for long enough, um, it also gives you your nervous system kind of a little recharge or a reset. And there's all kinds of biological processes that happen, hormonal changes. And uh, I only understand probably about half of it because uh, I'm not an expert in, in this particular field. Um, but you don't need to be an expert to experience it, um, you just got to do it. And so this video, I want to demonstrate the techniques, have you try them out for yourself, follow along with the video, and continue to practice them whenever uh, you've got a moment, because um, you will reap the rewards. And it's one of those things, it's a no-brainer. It's like, this is a really good thing to do, and it, it's free, it's easy, um, and um, you're, you're going to be better off. You're going to have a better, high, higher quality of life, you're going to be able to recover fa faster, perform better, feel better. Um, so again, it's kind of a no-brainer. So I'm just going to walk you through the uh, techniques um, that I've learned. Some of them are repeats from the last video. I figured I'd um, kind of expand upon what, what I taught in that last video in this uh, version 2.0. Um, so the first technique is your basic chug. It's a full body vibration. Um, you're going to assume a hip width or shoulder width stance. And with these uh, little bends up at the knees, so you're not locking your knees. You don't have a super bent knee. Um, but these little, kind of a soft knee, you're just gonna chug yourself, pressing your feet into the ground as if you're trying to push the ground away from you. And you're gonna relax the rest of your body. So your, your core, your torso, your shoulders are relaxed. You're gonna allow your, this little chug to kind of bounce your shoulder blades up and down onto your torso, onto your rib cage. And you're just gonna relax. And all throughout um, these drills, one of the good things to focus on is a slow, steady exhale. So going to focus on the exhale, so you got to take an inhale in and then and you just focus on that whenever you're doing vibration drills, that's one of the best ways to help uh, lower your heart rate in combination with the shake is focus on the exhale. I'm not going to be exhaling while I demonstrate every one of these because I'm talking you, talking you through it. Um, but that's your basic chug. 
just a full body vibration. You can experiment with different ranges of motion. You can lean back, you can tilt to the side, you can uh, lean to the side to target different areas of your body. Um, one of the techniques I was taught years ago, I forget what it's called, I call it either the collapse or the fold, um, but you're gonna get this basic chug going on, and then you're gonna bring your drop the chin down, slowly start rounding your shoulders forward, and just keep rounding very, very slowly. You're gonna feel the vibration uh, go between your shoulders into your mid-back. You're just gonna keep folding down one vertebra at a time. You're gonna feel the vibration transition from your mid-back into your lower back. And you're just gonna try and get lower and lower, bringing your belly down to your thighs until it gets too hard to keep that vibration going. And then you're gonna press yourself up back to standing, midfoot balance, rolling one vertebra at a time until you're back to standing. You can get the chug going again. That's just a great way to uh, focus this on your spine. And it's a great thing to do as part of a cool down if you've got a minute or two or longer. You can do it a few times, five times, um, to you know really, really maximize the benefits and the recovery that you can get from vibration training. So that's the chug, your most basic rudimentary vibration drill. Next drill, another full body one, is the shimmy. So get a shoulder width stance and uh, there's two things you want to focus on. One is alternating your shoulders backwards and forwards like this. And the other is doing some like micro rotations of your hip, micro twisting at your hips. And you're going to just count balance it with that. And I'll show you from the side. Um, there's, there's different ways to do it and I encourage you to experiment with it just like before, you know, you can experiment with targeting different areas while you're doing the chug. It's the same thing with the, chip, with the shimmy. Um, and one thing I like to do, I was taught you can raise your arms and kind of um, brace a little bit. I've seen guys do it in a fighter stance. Um, I usually just put my hands up and imagine like a piston because I find it helps me to really focus on the core and the glutes when I'm performing this in the hips. Um, is all imagine I'm rotating back and forth, kind of like pressing back and forth, alternating, like kind of like hitting a, uh, a heavy bag really quickly, rapidly. Um, and when you do that, you kind of lock down your core and you're going to get a lot of vibration throughout your core. I feel especially in my glutes. So if I'm doing a heavy set of squats or hip thrusts, this is a great thing to do after it. Um, but I'll just show you. <laughs> Looks a little funny, uh, but it's a really effective uh, vibration drill. Um, so those are the, the, the shimmy variations, and again, uh, experiment, try different techniques. That's how I developed some of the ones I'm going to share um, in a minute. Just you know, just shaking it out, and I think, wow, that's kind of a that's kind of a good way to do it. That actually really works, um, and it's kind of how I've uh, uh, developed some of my own techniques. So next exercise is uh, for your arms. It's called the dice shaker. So you're going to have a soft bend at the elbow, so not totally locked and not really bent, but just kind of a soft bend as if, you know, kind of the way it naturally hangs when you're standing up. And you're gonna hold on to a pair of dice, you don't really need a pair of dice, um, but you're just gonna shake it, like you're shaking a pair of dice kind of off at a, a low 45 degree angle. Um, you're gonna send that vibration up through your elbow, up into your upper arm, your shoulder, into your torso a little bit. You wanna relax your upper arm, it should be loose, feel like jelly, just uh, shake it around. Um, you could do the same thing overhead, like so, really high overhead, off to the side. You can do it really low. Um, you can do two at once, of course, overhead. Um, and you saw me just, uh, you know, so that's another thing I was going to say. You can combine the dice shaker with the chug. You can co combine these different movements to get more bang for your buck if you only got a, a moment to uh, recover rapidly. Um, another technique is you can do an open hand arm shake, um, like in front or off to the side. You just shake your arm from side to side. Again, you've got a soft bend at the elbow and you're sending that vibration into your upper arm, your shoulder, your torso. You can do two at the same time. You're just gonna vibrate them, shake them back and forth. You can do the same thing out to the side. Um, so those are a couple of the arm exercises. What I found is when I'm doing the dice shaker, doing these, sometimes I'll develop a little bit of tension in my hands and my wrists. Um, and sometimes when you do a really grip intensive exercise, like anything with a club bell or a kettlebell or a sandbag, your grip is just fried. Um, another great one is just shaking out your hands, you know, as if uh, like shaking water off of your hands after you've washed your hands, shake them into the sink. Uh, so you can do, do it like this. 
You can shake them really fast. Looks really funny, uh, but actually feels really good. It's a great way to recover um, your hands and get rid of that fatigue, flush them with nutrition. You can shake them side to side, you can shake them up and down. Each one has a slightly different effect, so try uh, experiment with them. Uh, are you noticing the theme here? Experimentation. Um, so that's your hands and your arms. Uh, feels really good. For the legs, there's a few different techniques. Most basic one is a single leg um, stiff shake or a rigid shake. So what you're going to do is stand on one leg, you're going to pull your toes up, flex your ankle and pull your toes up towards your shin, and you're going to kick your heel towards the ground, not kicking the ground, but kicking towards the ground with just a slight bend at the knee. So not a super long bend or super um, bend at the knee, but just this little and again, you're gonna focus on the exhale whenever you're performing these exercises. So just these little mini kicks towards the ground with your um, ankle flexed. You're gonna feel that radiate up from your foot up into your thigh, into your hip all throughout your torso into your legs. You might even feel it up in your shoulder a little bit. Um, you can go kind of slower. You know, this is just the speed I go, but you can go different speeds. You might be like, I can't shake that fast, John. And so the, the speed isn't as important as uh, doing, and the speed will come um, as you practice. You know, you just want to focus on a good, a good shake um, like that. And similarly to with the hands, after I've done the uh, rigid shake with the leg, I like to do a more relaxed shake with the leg because um, I'll get some tension built up, my foot, my ankle, just my lower leg in general. And so instead of having the, the ankle flexed, I'll have the ankle relaxed and I'll just shake out the whole lower leg, trying to get water off your leg. It's kind of a, a good way to visualize it. Um, same thing with the other side. You just shake it out. Um, so those are the two basic ones for the legs. Another one that I, that I like is uh, to really focus, hone in on the thighs. Um, so if you've done a really heavy set of squats or something and your thighs are just on fire, um, you can get into kind of a quarter squat. So you're not standing up straight. You're not at you know, kind of a 90 degree squat. You're in this little quarter squat just to put a little bend at your knees. And then you're going to alternate bringing your um, legs in and out. So you're going to do it kind of Fast, you can kind of go like that, kind of uh, crazy legs, I like to call it. When you're, you're going to feel the muscles on your thighs really um, twisting, rotating around the, the, your bones. And just a great way to really focus on the legs. Um, if you're on the floor, you can do it on the floor. You know, if you just got to sit down, you can do the same thing on the floor. And it feels real good, really good way to recover um, your legs and your hips too. Um, so that's kind of the, uh, the laundry list of exercises that I cycle through. Something I wanted to um, just um, prompt you with an idea is that you can combine these. Um, you know, you can do the, the chug and shake the arms. You can uh, shake the legs too with practice. Um, and it will come with practice. This, these are skills and, and uh, you might not be able to do it as fast or, or as long or, or whatever as you think you should be able to. Um, but with time, it'll get better and better. And, you'll get more results out of the time that you put into them. So there'll be kind of a, a cumulative effect um, the more and more time you put in. And eventually, it'll become an automatic habit, you know, just unconscious competence, where you, you do, turn to this, you do it without even thinking. You don't even realize you're doing it. Um, and uh, so, but something you can do, you know, again, you can do this in between sets of an exercise. You can do it as part of your cool down at the end of your workout or whatever it is that you're doing, uh, whatever vigorous activity. Um, and something you can do is you can turn it into a circuit. So I like to do the chug, shake out the arms, go overhead, shake out the hands, shake one leg, shake the other leg, relax the shake leg, relax the shake leg, go into the shimmy, and just cycle through um, all the different uh, drills, especially if you're doing a really uh, like full body intensive workout. Just a great way to really flush out the whole system and relax and recover and uh, reset things. So, I hope this video was helpful for you. I hope that you try out the exercises. And if you have any questions about vibration training, please let me know, I'd be happy to help. Check out the links below for more information. And please give me a, a thumbs up, a like, um, if this video was helpful for you. Helps me know what kind of content you want in the future. So, thank you very much for watching. Really appreciate your time. And I'll see you in the next video.